Be sure to check out RCT Cassie, winner of the RCT Free Tosso Quiz of 2015 and enter the Tosso competition for 2016. Hello and welcome to episode 23 of Let's Believe Awesome Theme Park 2016. And I know I said I wouldn't be making any more episodes for a while, but that was because I was anticipating being at work all day today and just having no time to record at all and then having a driving lesson. Turns out that neither of those things actually happened, so yeah, you guys get a nice video. Yay? But to the matter at hand, the castle. Yes, I am finally getting on with this place. That's actually kind of cool in the Fallout world. But this is essentially uh, the headquarters of the Minutemen. So I now have, by the end of this episode, I did, actually, this is crazy. I didn't actually finish it all in one take. But by the end of this episode and whenever the next episode is, we shall have the headquarters for all four factions completed. So, yay! But, uh, what is the castle exactly? It's, like I said, pretty damn cool. Uh, essentially, you have a massive armory, a gigantic radio tower, and you it possibly involves one of the most fun quests I've ever done in a game. Of course, the quest I'm referring to, to for our fans, is Defend the Castle. Like, oh my god, I had so much fun doing that. Mostly because I finally got to break out the big boy. Which was way too much fun. Yeah, I, my weapon loadout in Fallout 4 is kind of ridiculous. I mean, I've got, uh... Think. If anyone actually plays, uh, come on what weapons you got in this below, I'm just curious to hear. But I've got uh, a never ending double barrel shotgun, uh, righteous ju or for justice authority, whatever it is, basically maxed out on upgrades, so it does 100 and something damage. Uh, my 50 cal penetrating sniper rifle, a. Eh? But yeah, that thing ignores 50% of all armor, which is ridiculous. Seriously, I get headshots with that thing all the time. Just take out so much stuff. Uh, yeah, the never any double barrel shotgun. Never any double barrel shotgun. I mentioned that. Go watch Official Duck Studios video. I can't explain it in words. It's too funny. <laughs> it's so much fun, but so ammo hungry because my aim is so bad. Um, then I have a big boy, which fires two, two 21 kiloton plutonium bombs. Did I mention that? It's a portable catapult that fires those. Yeah, that's what it is. It's way too much fun. Uh, and I, re I recently got a Crippler, which uh, is sort of a fan name for a gun. But uh, basically it's any kind of super automatic weapon that uh, has the, the knee capper effect. So I got a of rapid automatic pipe rifle. But bottom line, I can purpose blow everything to shreds, but I still get killed a few times. Oh yeah, and then my two shot gorse rifle, which is way too powerful. So what were we doing here? Well, the castle itself has a few uh, kind of uh, bits of wall broken away. Like, let's not forget, this... It's got a bit of history, this place, and uh, I can't be asked to go through all the lore. There's so much lore in Fallout and Bethesda games. But actually, here I was having some grief, because I was trying to get, like... There's bits of the castle where the rubble... It's, the walls are just fallen away, and it's just rubble. But I had absolutely no idea how I could get it to work. Like. I'll probably come back to that whenever I get back from Spain. Okay, seriously, for real this time. I, to my knowledge, I am busy all week. I may not be, but frankly, I'll probably be packing anyway. I'm prepping because I've got a race this weekend and uh, everything going on. So actually, what else I do here? Well, in the game, I'm actually in this exact corner in Fallout. Uh, this is the armory. So I made a gift shop. Because, fuck you. Excuse my language. But yeah, for some reason I put a gift shop in here. I don't know what I was thinking, but eh, I'll live with it. Uh, beat, uh, I haven't really got the pieces yet to do an armory. I need to get some guns. And yes, I did put it in a Pokemon shelf. I'm not playing Pokemon Go at the moment, if anyone's wondering. I'm just not interested in it. Oh yeah, at this point I decided to just throw in some Star Wars references to this thing. Just, just because I can. So yeah, just adding in some mugs and then some more Star Wars Lego. Yeah, I haven't actually used this set in a while. For some reason, I think I built a gift shop in the last year's series. I just feel like all the buildings were kind of closed up and didn't need to. But I suppose, yeah, most of the buildings in uh, downtown, obviously, in the theme park, will serve some form of function, like some kind of restaurants. Good neighbor could, uh, could they, good neighbor could be something. Like there are shops dotted here and around, so like there are, there is stuff. So now I was going to fill these up with boxes from these coal mine, but I actually decided to fill it up with. The stuff from Desmond's Industry Age because these yellow crates are the exact sort of thing we have in the castle itself. 
So I was just like, oh, perfect. I'll use those. Then I decided to get going on uh, the, I believe the queue line is for this flat ride I put down. And I spent far too long on this. Because, like, oh my goodness, this took so long. Actually, no, I did start working on the rubble pile, actually, I think. Yeah, no, I started stairs first. Because I, my queue line, I've planned this as, uh, actually, you'll see it later on, is a little bit ridiculous. But, yeah, I'm surprised at how long this castle took me, actually, given that I was building for pretty much my usual shift length and didn't actually finish. I mean, I'm a bit stretched for time at the moment, what with just everything going on. And, I mean, I know it's the summer, but I've got... It, it's me. I'm notorious amongst my friends for being very busy and also being a bit of a social recluse. I'm sort of notorious for being like that. But, yeah, here was the rubble pile. Because, like, there's a bit of the warts just blown out. I mean, let's not forget, this is a set 200 and... Let me think, the year of Fallout is 2277. So, yeah, 200 and... Maps. What? 280 years in the future? No, wait, that's not quite right. 261. There we go. Yeah, 261 years in the future. So, yeah. After a nuclear, 200 years after nuclear war. So, some stuff's going to have happened. Like, I don't know if this castle actually exists in Boston. I should probably Google it. But, yeah. Here I was just trying to figure out how I could, like, uh, do rubble walls and stuff. Which was surprisingly hard, actually. Because, like, so I'm surprised I had no sort of pieces. Like, if you may have noticed, fun fact, I'm rather hilariously using uh, the <laughs> climbing walls and station to juniors random things. What the hell? Like... Wow. Like, that is a whole other level of ghetto. But, in the end, I eventually, I, I need, I'll probably find something. I just need to do some hunting around the custom senior site, see what I can find. Uh, like, as I've said, I'm always updating my custom senior library, so, as I said before, wait until the end of the series, then you'll get your wish for custom seniors who don't work. Now, uh, actually, I did add some loudspeakers in, because, like, what normally is in the middle of this castle in Fallout 4 is a radio tower, and I thought this flat rate actually kind of matched that kind of shaping quite well. So, I decided to just stick that in. Now, here is where the queue line got a bit mad. I sent it underneath the castle, inside it, up around this this room, uh, looping back and stuff a couple of times, up the stairs, along the top, and then down into the actual flat rate itself. And there is a fast pass section for once in my life. Never thought I'd do that. Given that I never do that, actually, with any of my rides, I really should, actually. Like, that would be a good idea. I mean, it would add a degree of realism, but it would certainly, it would certainly make the queue lines a little bit more complex. But can't I do dual queue lines all the time, for some reason? Actually, no, because one is usually, like, the front bay queue line. I, I really should, actually, do, add, start adding in fast-track queue lines to my, uh, my roller coasters. The problem is, doing queues in a roller coaster token free is bloody hard, because, like, game does not support decent ones at all. You've got to slice everything down half width. So here I was experimenting trying to find some decent lights. And uh, what I really want is some industrial ones. But uh, there's probably some dinking around in the custom studio set that I've missed. But I'll probably do some search ups. Have a look around. Maybe some warehouse lights might suit. I also need some cables. I still need to do those power lines. Like, I downloaded this set of power pylons specifically for this series, and I haven't actually used it at all. What is wrong with me? Uh, there was one other section that I found in the midst of recording this. I can't remember what on earth it was, but it was something I just thought, I, ha I definitely meant to use this at some point. Well, I can't remember what on earth it was. Nope, nope. It's gone, it's gone from my mind. So, yeah. <laughs> that was weird. But right here, I was just doing more kind of exits. I, I realized I'd left this gigantic crater in the uh, wall, and I was going to uh, just put some barbed wire fence there. Then I remembered, oh wait, I was going to put uh, another exit. And here was where I did the fast track thing for once in my life. Yeah, I know, it's weird. I'm doing fast track. Never, ever do that. I never do it at theme parks, just because it can't be asked. I mean, you've already taken enough of my money. Entry to four park is 50 quid at the moment. Like, come on. And it's probably going to be more with Brexit and everything. Oh god, I'm surprised I haven't talked about that on this channel yet, which is pretty weird. So, actually, what was I doing here with these crate, with these kind of, this ring thing? Well, what it is in the game, it's, uh, I know it's not quite big enough, in, in Fallout 4, it's a space of the artillery. And yes, you did hear me say that correctly, artillery. 
which is uh, kind of ridiculous. I never actually use it for some reason. Like, I never use grenades in Fallout. I'm a good old, much like my Skyrim style, I'm much bigger, a fan of doing things a good old fashioned way of point and shoot. Or in Skyrim's case, hack and slash. Same thing. So here I realized I didn't want to go over the top yet until I'd done the lights inside there. So in the meantime, I was just uh, do the queue line along the top. Like this took a lot longer than it's looking on the time lapse. Because I kept on having to get make sure everything was at the right height before I placed it. And in some cases I was doing it blind, so you can see. While well, I was doing stuff floating. So I had small walls and archway here and there. And I actually can't remember what I did after this. But I think it was more detailing. Oh yeah, I did the, the kind of rest of the thing around here. But anyway, so you as I'll let this play on, but basically, uh, barring any any surprise plans, this is the this is going to be the last episode for a while. I mean it this time, uh, unless I get a, another day out uh, during the week. But even that, I'm going to be training for a race this weekend, and then I immediately I'm going to Spain. So unless you see another video crop up on this channel before Saturday, assume that there won't be another one for a while. Unless, of course, that one crops up, in which case, then, yeah, that'll be the last one for a while. But, anyway, if this is the last video for you, then, uh, enjoy the forthcoming two weeks when I'm not doing anything on this channel, and I will see you all after when I get back from Spain. Goodbye. Live long and prosper. You there. Me? No, you. Follow me on Twitter. Do it!